absolutely unbelievable. I can't believe that I'm here. I would never imagine that I would be here, so I'm really happy and I'm thankful. I'm so excited, so it's my first time here. It's just such an incredible experience that I cannot put into words, genuinely. It's the International Day of the Rights of the Child today. And 12 children from 12 different European countries come together here in the European Parliament in Brussels to make their voices heard. Hello, my name is Rhythm. My name's Arthur. I'm Abigail. I'm Leon. Tiana. I'm Alexander. I come from Slovenia, Cyprus, Greece, Romania, Estonia. And I am from Ireland. From age 10, I have been a youth advocate, a youth activist, someone who is a voice, I think, for child's rights. So when I heard of the opportunity of your child to have my voice heard on an EU-based level, it was a no-brainer for me to apply. The reason why we're here is to spread what kids think to higher-ups in the parliament. I'm really glad I'm here to advocate for other children, not only from my country, but also all over Europe. We're not just here for later on, we're here for now as well. You have to keep that in mind. We know the best what is the best for us, not them. To be a child and to have my voice heard for so many people, it's a privilege. But it shouldn't be that way. It shouldn't be a privilege to have your voice heard. That's the most basic of human rights. The reason as to I'm here today is because to have a meeting with MEPs from our countries in order to discuss uh, several important issues on national level and also on EU level. We also have a meeting with President Metzola. Hello, hello. Hello, nice to meet you. Hello. Nice to meet you. So let's take a photo and then we, you talk to me. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, good. Now we can talk. Okay. So, what do you need from me? We all think that children are not only the future, but the present too. Marvel. So we're basically here to uh, make adults hear us and listen to us. Uh, your presence is already a first step in you for us to be <coughs> faced with people of your age. Secondly, you are rare. Can I say that? Mm -hmm. uh, most children do not have the opportunity that you have or the drive that you have, which means that we need to work on increasing the opportunity and we need to increase the drive. I can help you do that. You have my commitment, but I need my colleagues to do the same and I need you to do more. This is not only about coming to Brussels and getting to know each other, but to push us into doing more for you, all right? She's an inspiration to me. And just from this brief meeting, I know that I want to be like her when I grow up. Welcome to the European Parliament. How do you feel about us being here? The decisions that we are taking here is impacting you directly. And the European Parliament should and must be more open to our younger generation. Because this is your future. The big work in the European Parliament where we are not fighting but discussing ideas. Protective it is not it is not done here. This is the show part. The big discussions are not held here. They are held in committee room. We must ensure that every child across the EU has a seat at the table, not just as passive recipients of policy, but as active participants in shaping their own future. In Hungary, many of the schools don't have enough teachers and resources, so it's hard to get a quality education. We need commitment and action from policymakers just like you to create environments that truly support our well-being. Every child deserves and has the right to be safe, whether in an online environment or not. No more waiting, no more delay. Time to act is here, now and today. Thank you. We can't talk on behalf of children. We have to talk as policymakers, as adults, as former children with the current children. So I'm very happy, I, I, I'm very enriched by their views and I'm glad that they could join us and that they spent time with us. MEPs were listening uh, to us and they took it uh, seriously and I think uh, this was actually so much worth it. Yeah, it was really fun and I hope to have more events like this. These last few years I can see that there is a slight regression with the rise of progressive agendas and we had the elections this year in Europe and you can see the rise of far-right movements who might try to limit everything we achieved in terms of children's rights. So today I think it's very important that we have stronger messages and we remind of all children's rights and we remind decision makers that they should listen to children. We don't need voices to represent us, we have our own voices, we just need to amplify our voices, to listen us, not just hear us and to act on what we say, to take our opinions into account. We need to be included in the decision making processes of those decisions that affect us. You include us today, you make better leaders of tomorrow. That's my message.